Hey everybody! Welcome back to Bloodborne. We're literally at the boss right now. We have our, uh, we have a uh, Confederate Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> it's mustard. Uh, okay. We got Robert E. Lee right. on our side right. today. <laughs> Bitch, I'm on the side of Ulysses. It's Ulysses. It's Grant. <laughs> He's on the fitty. Oh. Oh. oh, this is loud all of a sudden. I'm going to turn this down just a bit, boys. Oh. Have you all watched We're Berserk? Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. I forgot how low it was. Yeah. I was like, hey. If you all watch Berserk, oh my gosh, this, this cool. fucking reference. Woo he is the horse and the swordsman. He is fucking ugly. I really hate that oh thing on its side God. with that teeth. Dude, that it thing is, is... What's the name of this piece? We'll find out in just a second. <laughs> I it fused cool. my battle ox in Mystic Horseman <laughs> to make... <laughs> oh, dear God! I, I love, love that videos. video, by the way. Hey, look, Dude, we have his weapon. That thing is super cool. Holy he, crap. Ooh, the health. But God, it's, it's disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah. We have his weapon, though. Well, yeah? We well... We have Ludwig's Holy Blade. Well... Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. It's in his name. I'm doing a bit more damage than I hoped, though. Which is nice. That's good. Because he is... If you come in here, just... What's your approach to this boss, Darno? Um... Well, you see, Rapid Horseman's only got 2,200 attack, so... <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> he has a lot of... Oh, Dang that it, wasn't dude. a it was a crumple, but yeah. it, you can stagger, stagger and break a lot of his. That is the worst attack that he has. Yeah, that's fucked. The hitbox on that is ridiculous. You have to preemptively just gas. There's bones and shambles going everywhere. It's cool. This, this oh, never mind. This is so the worst. Cool. Oh shit! Oh, there we go. Oh my god! Wow, you didn't even get hit. Damn, nice. Colonel Mustard was just on his. Was <laughs> he about was to have his final. Uh, Colonel Mustard's his last, last stand. stand. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite strat when I play Clue, bro. Ooh. You, cut, you just That's immediately rare. the good oh. cutscene. Oh. No. Yeah, no, Probably not, not two yet. hits. You're, yeah, you're Wait. close. You're close. Oh, there's a halfway cutscene. Yeah, there yes. we go. It should be easier now. Because right? having died to this boss like a thousand fucking times. <laughs> so he's the first mm. church hunter. Dude, this monster is so cool. He's very, very <gasps> unique design. Rapid horseman. And the, I, you I said I like how you see the born. like remnants of his face right. though. Yeah. You say church hunter. That's the that's this series of bosses from the DLC, right? Um. Well, or he's no. actually the only church boss you fight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Lawrence. Lawrence did My start true the mentor was his blade. The I feel this is God the coolest has, intro yeah. to the Moonlight Blade in the whole fucking, in my opinion, the whole franchise. This thing so much. That is such a like. I wanted that as a part. He's hideous. <laughs> he's got that's... like a. He's got like a like a fucking. Oh, now his whole <laughs> move set just changes. Yeah, this he's thing is so around, fucking dude. cool. Oh, that weapon. Thank you, no Volter. Dude, the particles on it. Fuck. Wow. You ever been to the end, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh nice. Give me that. Nice. Yeah. No, this. Boss it becomes much. I'm not gonna say it's not difficult. Oh god, yeah. But it's easier than the first oh. phase. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, oh that move god. is beautiful. It wow. Is. It's a yaw moment. Like Dude, and it leaves like slash streams. I yeah, forgot about that. That is so cool. cool. Play the uh, future me during this fight. Play the the Final Fantasy VII song. That's like the the battle the battle theme that has like the. Um, that then, is, I believe... I think it's just like the basic fight, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's... Wait, no, um, that's, uh... That is, uh... My dude. favorite version of that is in Advent Children. Yeah. Uh, you just kill Ludwig it's on one the first the try? Yeah. yeah. First try. First fucking This wow. is going to be a good play. <laughs> nice. Wow. This might be a very... I, dude, that, what did I say? Episode 30 was gonna be something eventful. <laughs> I dude. usually that die at least that was awesome. 
twice, once or twice. So. Damn. So there we go. Man. All right, let me change to properly give him. <laughs> oh God. Oh Peg, behave. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> oh. So if you Hello, talk baby. to him otherwise without a church oh, anything. Dude, I like, oh, I didn't even realize his head was like. You could talk to it. It's a bit smaller. I yeah, think. it fell off. <laughs> But yeah, before I talk, it's one of the best fucking like second like that song that plays in Second Face probably my favorite in the entire game. Dang. It's pretty good. It's an amazing fucking song. Tell me. But I always do this every time I play because it's like this character fucking fought and then turned to a monster and tried his best. Yeah. Church is fucking awful. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Yet another game. So I say like, yes. Religion is a lie. Why is that a thing? Why? Uh, well, it doesn't help. Like Holy Roman Empire kind of are fucked. Yeah, that's true. Right. Which I usually take that as like now the clergy tended to be fucked in the past. So if you just said no, then he'd be like, well, it, yeah, he just goes nuts. And also, he's already like, and if you don't have a church outfit, he's kind of just laughing like a maniac. Yeah. Well, but, this is the nicest and way. And get his <sighs> weapon. Nice. We basically but, just got the upgrade to our own sword. However, we cannot use it. But yeah. I'll show you a video. Wait, oh. why not? We don't uh, have enough arcana. That, oh, oh. Yeah, it's the only thing. Our stat is a wee bit low. That's fair. And, and, but, but that that's weapon's okay. fucking amazing. Um, can you can get some like some of the highest damage? Oh yeah. Uh, Moving on. Dang, okay. Well, yep. that was Fucking quick work. Snapped. Yeah. That was five minutes, by the way. Oh, wow. That, that Good took job. A casual five fucking minutes. Good of job, Darnell. Fucking immortal fucking life. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was I awesome. didn't mean to be that quick. No, that's, this is a good thing. Yeah. We want nothing but Brock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but, but progress. progress. <laughs> we can wax the wall. The door is impenetrable. <laughs> And that's all that. That's all the time we have for today. Sorry for the seven minute episode. Couldn't get past the door. It was glitched. Yeah, Sorry. Was it? Hit him. Play Thank through. God. Oh, Give dude. There nice. we go. Nice. It got pretty bright in there. Okay, there we go. That is the only way to get that. Did you just get Indy Indiana Jones's hat. Is that what just happened? Wait. Uh, no, nah, never mind. No. Ooh. Close. But it's a nice hat. Okay, we're back to good old we're one step closer to my favorite boss in the DLC. Which is it? She your favorite is. boss number three? Uh, my favorite boss is number dos. Oh. Uh, remember the Smurf guys? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a I boss in this game, which the title of them I will not say. But the Mega Mind guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. But they're they're ooh, dude, Dark Church guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's the Resident Evil 2 guy, Mr. X? Mr. X. <laughs> I got mad Mr. Oh, X. Oh, Jesus, he just wow. fucking freaked out in that chair. Give me your money. Antidote. There is a specific... It's locked. I need a key. <laughs> Speaking of Resident Evil, locked the master of unlocking. I, from oh, the very first top ten I ever did, I still have a, a small video file of the Jill Sandwich scene. Just saved on my computer. Forever. It's the original as, remake. As no, I don't should. think they even say that in remake. <laughs> oh, Barry! <laughs> Just the way that she says that. No, if you want to hear the funniest shit, so in the English, I mean the American release and range mode, I believe, or some shit like that. It the music was redone. Make lose control. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> it has. I have to play a <laughs> oh clip because the music in that particular version so. You talking like, about the basement theme, bro? Resident Evil basement theme. No, um, so Damn. one of the versions of the release, you have the regular soundtrack, which is fucking fantastic. Yeah. You have, uh, uh, I think it was the American release, where they, um, lost the rights to that uh, that particular music. Mm -hmm. Oh, and had to do it. it is so yeah, the ba it's, yeah the basement theme, dude. Yes, that oh that, that one. Sh yeah, that's, that that's shit's the basement so theme. fucking hilarious. Really? Yeah, it's it literally it just like it. a bunch of like they just had like a small they just had a small bat like brass brass band like mm -hmm. frack on their instruments on purpose. What? Because they 
the thing is that they thought it would like create the like well, the immersion, I guess. Like in the, sense in the music, of, like, it's a uh, scary, like mm-hmm. creepy, jarring thing. But it, but it just sounds like. <laughs> well, actually, at, like, actually, like, since like that fucked up with our release, uh, I think a couple years ago, uh, the dude that actually says that he did the music was not the person. He oh, had a really? ghost. He uh, what? do it. A uh, high school, uh, I believe a high school uh, music teacher did the entire Resident Evil 1 soundtrack. The actual what? one. What? Oh, that's yes. awesome. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, super he's finally cool. getting accredited, thank God. Wow. That's super cool. See, shit like that, I feel like, just, like, goes, like... Yeah, like, rise up, gamers. Like, stuff like... <laughs> I feel like shit like that just, like, goes, like, you know, like, quiet after a while. Which right. is kind of like the injustice of the, of the industry, I guess, right. in a way. No, that's fair. We just... Because I like wouldn't have known. I would have been iron for a weapon now, by the way. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Let me. Bow! Damn. Mm. Dude, we're Brick Jackson now. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> love that effect. It's yes. like. It's We've like, evolved. It's like from Rocky Four to Creed, dude. <laughs> so let me or read it, the is description. Is there Rocky Five? Uh, That's four. Is it four? Okay, yeah. But Rocky There's, Four to Creed, dude. For some reason, I thought there was a five. I don't know. There might be, actually. Oh, isn't five coming out? No, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Rambo I'm Last that Blood. Though. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Rambo movie. So, I love this chunk of iron fit with finger holes. Yeah. A hulking hunt or something. Well, simple, eh, simple Gradia. Ever hopeless when handling. Like, she can't use guns. Uh-huh. Preferred to knock the lights out of beast with this hunk of iron, <laughs> which incidentally caused heavy stagger. She was a fearsome hunter, and to her onlookers, her unrelenting pummeling appeared oddly heroic. No wonder this weapon <laughs> soon... She her couldn't name. aim for shit. So Dude, this is awesome. probably her. So look at the fucking size of that person. Wow. Jesus Christ. That is like the Babushka making soup. That is <laughs> Babushka. <laughs> Babushka. No, it's a funny ass Dude, that's weapon. cool, yeah. Oh, I never did show up there. And if yeah. you hadn't read the description, I mean, I would How would you know? know? Yeah. It's Gatling cool. guy. It's fucking oh, shoot. shoot. Is it a, like... Is there something up there on the ceiling? What? Oh, it looks like there was something like hiding on the ceiling or whatever for a moment. <laughs> nah, not this day. Not today. Alright, well, where let's, is that? What's next? Alright, let's go. Well, well, going to one of the most interesting levels in the entire game. Oh, oh. yeah, it's it's gonna get pretty cool. There's some Hogwarts shit on there, but I gotta <laughs> okay. kill some. Oh Pages. god, uh, yeah, I immediately just had some like really bad flashbacks of this room. Thank uh, god that uh, I was not uh, one of the those, those are rats are fucking horrible. Yeah, those things are Like ugly. those like eyes are really fucking weird. Damn. Are these are these bodies in like praying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I I thought that So this awesome. room is uh fucked. Yeah. This is the oh. definition of fuck you. Never mind, I take it back. Old yarn, I mean, got shit on this area. Like, what? Man, these oh, two man. characters are fucking we'll irritating, and I will try and sneak up. This is a fucking. Bullshit. This is an. In, this fight is like an endeavor, dude. Really? Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. Nice. nice. You got the jump on him. But there's this Arthur. bitch that shoots. Woo! Bah! Thank oh, nice. God. Dang, Good shit. dude. Good stuff. Uh oh. I've seen many a, a, a two out of the two let's plays I've seen of this. I've oh, seen there we many. go. Now it's a fucking cakewalk. Yeah, nice. there we go. Nice. Cause this bitch, dude, expertly done. Expertly. Yeah, done. well done. If I've you seen didn't so play. many fucking times, like so many deaths out of oh. two goddamn playthroughs of this DLC. Dude, there we go. Just, you just freaking wrecked those Destroyed guys. Destroyed them. Nice. <laughs> well, I've done it so. Many well done. Times. It's like now nah, I formulated. I always go right to there, stab the bitch, at least right. get a head start. It can look really goofy fighting them, <laughs> solely because you're trying to jump around, dodge Two your bullshit. Two people, yeah. Right. That, like, that shit they normally is an ordeal. Yeah, yeah, they were both strong. Like, if we weren't built like we were, we would probably struggle at least a little right. bit more than we have. Wait, is that why this room is hell? Yeah. Okay. At least Damn, it's, well, you fucking... Fucked, but you made it look anymore. nice and easy. We've made it fucked now. Wow. Uh, Dude, this awesome. is nasty. Is it brains or spaghetti in there? 
Oh Coach. my gosh. Welcome to the, welcome to the Halloween party. <laughs> Eyeballs or They're fish eggs? Ew. I think both of those would be pretty nasty. Yeah, Touch. fish eggs, you know. Kind of neat. Little gooey little dudes in there. <laughs> <laughs> Having had, I am not uh, a raw fish funny. person. You don't like sushi. No, that's fair. I like, I like rice, but like not. <laughs> that's not sushi. <laughs> yeah, like, like when it comes, like when it comes to like the sushi, right. like the rice part of the sushi. Yeah, that's like the best part in my opinion. That's fair. It's kind of weird how I started though, where I was like, I yeah. like rice. I was, that sounds like okay. <laughs> I sushi. mean, but like, but like the suit, like the rice part sushi. of the sushi. Yeah. Hmm? And like the like the vegetable part of the sushi, I'm into the raw fish. I can't do much. Really? I, like, there's not too much that can be done about it. I'd rather just like put honestly. I, it's kind of lame, but like I'd rather just you know have like have like like Korean barbecue strips uh, instead. That sounds really good. Like you're making me hungry, dude. Korean barbecue. Oh Something my about it's just God. God. Is it? I've never had Korean. It's barbecue. so good because you amazing. cook it yourself. Right. Yeah, it's all you. That's cool. And you can fucking you can cook it for as long as you want, as short as you want. It's like Fuddruckers, right? Right. Fuddruckers is my favorite restaurant of all time, barring Rib Crib. Rib Crib was the replacement. Oh, dude, Rip 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 Rib Crib. Holy crap! We were gonna make a trek for my birthday for it, mm-hmm. but the weather was fucking. Uh, yeah. Bad. Yeah, the weather was awful. And we just decided not to risk it and not die in a tornado over getting some ribs in a yee yee restaurant. <laughs> so, <Yee-yee. laughs> so we instead just opted for just skipping on it. But That's fair. Beyond rib crib, Fuddruckers is a God godsend. Here. Dude, you trying to go to Fuddruckers sometime? What's up? You trying to go to Fuddruckers? Hell yeah, right. dude! Sweet. I'm always down. Sweet. Oh, I can't show what it. do we what do we need? Ten. Oh, I will do that. What I do we what are we at? Six. So just four. Oh fuck. <laughs> that's that's still a lot though. What how much? If it's what I think it is. What do you have to do? Eh, Forty Sorry, thousand, we can definitely do that like off time. I know some uh, I know some uh fake uh, cathedral, uh, not cathedral, wow, uh, a chalice dungeons that you use the farm off it. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. Well, I guess that's, uh, something to look forward to. I guess. that weapon's really cool. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's, that's probably, like, out of, like, the, the meme weapons, that's probably, like, my favorite one. Honestly. The meme weapons? Yeah. Fair enough. Because, you know, like, weapons, whether they're good or not, really, it's just, like, oh, Right. They got, like, a cool concept, so fuck right. it. Right, right. <laughs> The research hall. Oh, I got moving in, moving yeah, on. Yeah, I killed that way quicker. Than that I was did. that. Yeah, dude. Quick, quick dude, work. Dude, episode. I'm telling you, if you watch, there's probably some exceptions out there that I'm not thinking of. But if you, out there, if, if y'all were paying attention, every ten episodes on a playthrough, just something fucking wild happens or something hype yeah. happens. That's like perfect pacing. It really is. Nice. I'm like, I'm all about that, honestly. Right GG, now. fellas. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't talk. Going back. We gotta go to Ludwig and talk to Simon. Oh. Woo! The light shining down. Oh, uh, let me do this real quick so when I walk back up. Oh yeah. The good old classic. I'll, I'm gonna run back. So you can just drop in there instead? Um, What's it's the, a secret. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Secret. It's a secret. Okay. It does. I knew your secret. <laughs> uh, uh. Get out of here, old man. Yeah, kill him first. He's, the, he's scared. Yeah, because he's the one that's going to fucking gun you down. Yeah, right. Come on. Oh, my gosh. That Come on, creepy. do your thing. There we go. The I always wanted that, like... The Cost, like that design to wear something. The lighting effect is like it's weird. pretty ominous. It was cool. That radiation light, man. Yeah. Poor guy. You guys ever seen uranium glass? Uh uh-uh. uh. What, what is uranium glass? It's, it's like literally glass, glass made like made out of uranium. And that like sounds if you, horribly dangerous. 
That could be argued. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I, I but, don't think like, I want to even oh, shit. deal that, with it. There's a reason they don't make it anymore. I didn't kill him. Uh-oh. So? Did we fuck up? No. Okay. Now, if I would have did the boss and not do the thing, he would... Oh. This is Soul's boss. This is when Soul's... Yeah. His work. But yeah, it glows. It's pretty cool. Pretty That's cool. neat. I, I mean, I probably pretty wouldn't want to be like... Near it at all. Near it at all, just right. in case. Well, it's not like... It's contained. Most yeah, likely. I mean... Most likely. Right. And they said that Kmart was most likely to not fail. Uh, Look at us now. Can we get an F in the chat for Kmart? I hate Kmart. Dude, I think Sears is, might be going the same way, though. I mean, go figure. Every have, have you ever been to a Sears lately? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I haven't been in a Sears since I was eleven. I think uh, I think the last time I, I was legitimately at a though. Sears <laughs> was because uh, I was also thinking of right. was getting a Father's Day gift as a high school as a high schooler, and the the dudes would just walk up to me trying to get me to sign up for fucking Sears credit card like six or seven times, <laughs> and like they were so disorganized and it's like the like. I don't know. A place that sells lawnmowers in the same section as they sell, like, refrigerators just doesn't sound like it's organized, really. <laughs> in the same section? Yeah. That's they hilarious. would have, like, a row of lawnmowers and then, like, Dude, refrigerators and pool tables. That's the gifts for dad section. <laughs> and that's, I'm pretty sure what they called it. Then there you go. That makes total sense. <laughs> the Sears gifts for dad collection. Yeah. I don't know. Sears always just seemed like this weird part of the mall that was, like, it was like kind of like a Walmart. Dude, that's mm-hmm. what's so crazy. Is then again, like, our, you gotta remember our local mall fucking sucks. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's exactly. Awful. It's always been awful. It'll all it'll always be forever and it for gets the, rest the of time. It gets the job done though. I mean, it, like, it can. It definitely. When I think of a mall, that's what I think of. Is, Fair enough. But yeah. then again, that's all I know. So I mean, like whatever. <clears throat> yeah. So why is this bitch yelling at me? But he would shame himself no longer. Who is this unit in here? <laughs> looks like a he freaking was a true badass. Hero. We're gonna be getting his stuff. That is sweet. In a little while. Cause yeah, no, I, I, he has a really fucking cool weapon that we should be able to. Yeah, this is my blood tinge. At least, uh, it's high enough. And the secrets within. Within. The evil within. Dude. Claire de Lune, bro. That song is very nice. I'm, it's it, like the first game is mad, but the second game stepped it up so much. Better. I like the first game because it was very Resident Evil 5 y at the end. You got a rocket launcher and you shot things, a big thing. It oh, felt yeah. like playing. Uh, what's the fuck? And I don't like horror games really. So that saying, like, if, I, if a horror game I feel like earns my stamp of approval, you might want to check it out. Right? Okay. Because it's like, I mean, it's like that with anything that, like, if someone's not, like, super really into something. Yeah, secret. Ah, the secret. Secret within my secret within my secret. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, it's skull. skull. And you gotta put that. It's so dumb how it works. You yeah. Just, here's your skull, buddy, when his skull was already there. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, yeah, so. you have to just put it back on the table? Wait, what do you mean? You just, you like go, just give it to him? You go back to where we where we found him. And just, just place it like on him. Oh, okay. I yeah. guess. We just throw it at him. Comically uh, climbing on top of his flaming body, trying to put his skull back in his fucking head. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, like, <laughs> I do if like I don't know, if someone's like not into sports games or whatever, and they right. say, "Dude, this is like." one of the coolest games I've played in a yeah, while. Dude, like, then you'd be like, this dude doesn't like sports games, I might want to give it a try. Okay, but for real... Evil you, Within was definitely that. That's fair. Have you, have you ever played Backyard Baseball 2004, though? Dude, have you ever my played boy, <laughs> Pablo, was, so, was such a racist stereotype, he couldn't speak English. Whatever. But he hit like a goddamn fucking tank. You know those Dominicans? Game. I've never played Evil Within, though. It's, it's alright. It would, I wouldn't say that it's on par with, like... It, it's definitely, like, it's... It's Beth, it, it's like Bethesda's go at, like, a, more of an action-y game, which they don't really do that often. Right. Like, they don't they don't really get around with those kinds of games super... Right. ...all the time. We'll say like, Dishonored's pretty great, but yeah. Yeah, Dishonored's cool. I've actually heard Dishonored's pretty cool. I've never played it either. Fucking amazing setting. 
It's more so stealth. Yeah. Right. Um, well, funnily enough, uh, Shinji Mikami, the first direct one of the directors, was even worked on that game. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Probably, yeah. That's awesome. Um, I think they're having him work. They're having him work on another thing. Yeah. Lead. Evil within three. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how well the second one did. I, like, I have no it, idea. I thought it did significantly um, worse than the first maybe, one. It I, don't did, know. I don't think it sold better at all. I think. Well, actually, either game didn't really sell that well, to be honest. Um, Probably. Yeah, I would assume not, honestly. Because when Evil Within 1 came out, I had so many fucking problems. Oh. Yeah. It had this very awful thing with the letterbox. Bethesda it was just like so... It cut off, like, yeah. a lot of shit. It, it was awful. Um, Did they patch that stuff? Though? They it patched it, but better? it took a bit. But the game just... in a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, it's like... It's whatever. still a pretty interesting fucking for, game. For a linear action game experience, I would probably give them more flack than, like, for, say, Fallout 76. Right. It's like an open world game, and it's fully online. Like, right. come on, of course there's gonna be something oh, wrong yeah. with it. Right. For real. Like, but that's like every open world Bethesda game. And it's also part of the charm. If something's like seriously wrong, they'll fix it. It's That's just how they work. Mm -hmm. Like, you, I don't think a thing, like, I don't really think that it should, I don't think it should be expected that an open world Bethesda game should be 100% perfect or whatever. No, I get that. Uh, but, I also feel like that if something's like immediately wrong, they should probably fix it. But like right. the random like glitches where like it sh where it doesn't affect anything and people just sit there and complain and go, uh, my immersion <laughs> like <or> my immersion <laughs> like bodies don't fly everywhere. Oh my gosh. My immersion. I just like the other day, I was playing Skyrim and countered. I played put over two thousand hours in that game at this point. Right. Like in total, off of all the versions I played and everything. Mm -hmm. Fucking! <laughs> I found a glitch. I encountered a glitch that I never even once encountered ever before. Really? I was in. I was just hanging out in White Run or whatever, and I stepped in the moat mm -hmm. where Dragon's Reach is, and just like the entirety of the world flooded, and I was swimming out in the open air, like in the middle of the water that's everywhere, and all the NPCs were just walking on the ground like another day, dude. That's and, like crazy. talking and doing shit, but I was just like. It was like sounded like I was underwater, and I what had like the, the swimming heck? mechanic, and I couldn't fix it. Right, you were stuck. I was stuck, and I was like, "This is great." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I've never seen anything like this before, but right. I fucking love it." Right. Um, Alexa, one of my favorite oh. Mimi uh, glitches is from uh, New Vegas with Doc. Hell yeah, dude! That fucking shit where he's spinning. Oh His my head. god. <laughs> Oh, I, I had that happen, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that, my, uh, when I first saw that, cause I, uh, my buddy Ia showed it to me, and I fucking laughed. We both, really, I think he was laughing because of my laugh, because it was really, like, it was right. bad. Yeah, Ooh. I get that. Like, fucking, I don't, like, I don't know, is it just me, or, like, does that shit really just, like, I mean, with stuff like the head glitch thing, it's like, it doesn't hurt the game's experience and it actually kind of enhances it a little bit because people yeah. would just mod that shit in anyway to make it look <laughs> right, funny fair enough it's just part of the like right. bethesda experience right like i don't i don't but get it in saying that you're saying the bethesda experience is a broken game is like is a broken Fiz experience like graphically yes <laughs> yeah like, that's course, it that's... all of those games are a mess every single one <laughs> that's exactly it that's the that's but that's the... <laughs> that's part of why i love it right like i get it Playing a game, there, like for me, there's, it, I don't really see it as a positive thing, and I'm trying to cut back on it. But playing a game because it's stupid is not something I regularly want to do anymore. Right. Whereas, versus, I mean, just before we started recording today, I was talking about the H1Z1 Battle Royale thing. Right. Shit's the baddest game <laughs> I've <laughs> played in the in the longest time. Right. But it's so stupid and the stupidest things happen to us glitch wise right. is what makes us keep playing. It. That's fair. Because it's not a game that should be taken seriously at all. Right. But you're comparing H that's com but in this argument you're comparing you're putting H one Z one in a Bethesda uh, full release title on the same <laughs> tier. What well, I mean, whatever. That's the thing, like people wanna ex <laughs> people wanna expect more, you like, know? Yeah, people expect more but <laughs> at the same time I'm not I mean, I'm not really bothered by it. Yeah. I, 
I just I just think that shit is like funny and part right. of the Bethesda experience, right? right? That's funny. like I wouldn't honestly Ooh. I wouldn't Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, can we take a yeah. second and like? Oh, show some that thing's got some strength. Thing. Oh yeah, he is, and he is upset. Like I see, all I see are spiders, and I want them to die. His yeah. movement is creepy. No, I I heavily enjoy his moveset mainly yeah. because of just like I'm marking out, and I don't like it. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't know. I I've put a ton of hours into New Vegas and Fallout Three and Skyrim. Well, not for me, but yeah, yeah but yeah. You, between us, I mean, we've all put in a I shit just, ton of hours. I just couldn't see those games being Where's any other way. And I'm like, it doesn't, I'm not bothered. Yeah, I mean, not bothered by it at all. In fact, I I honestly embrace it, like, to the fullest that's extent. That's fair. Like, I, like, honestly, the day that Bethesda releases a game and, like, dragon skeletons don't just randomly start falling from the sky occasionally, right. I'm out. That's fair. <laughs> like, that's it. I just... That's it's fair. just not it's not within me enough cuz like honestly when it comes to Elder Scrolls lore and shit I'm like I don't give a fuck <laughs> okay like I'm like not in those games for the story at all I'm in really? it for like the adventure okay like That's the, fair. the journey you go on people play for different reasons for sure yeah for sure like for me the Skyrim main storyline is shitty it's so bad. You know, I've heard that from a lot of people, actually. Like, it's, it's well, not Well, it's like it's a lot of people enjoyable. don't finish the game from yeah. what I hear. Yeah. yeah, right. It's, like, definitely not enjoyable. But then again, when it comes to a game like Skyrim, it's like, what do you define? At, like, I feel like what counts is... Oh, oh shit. Yep. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was rough. At least he died. <laughs> And on that note, but I think we're gonna, I think we might save this conversation. Doesn't for die the next at episode. Dies from awesome. weird Staircase. head guy. <laughs> All so right, man, he didn't well, even hit me. That's the <laughs> next time on Mineral Gamers, we're gonna finish this conversation and uh, be back to where we were. See y'all. See ya.